in the airport on our way to Arizona, and um, I'm excited. It's our first, my first trip, and uh, everyone's here. It's our yellow blob. We're on the flight. We're having a good time. Welcome to Arizona. Hi, we're just here going into the water. We'll be like 20 minutes, Daniel said, and then we have to go back on the road. But it's really pretty here, and the water feels great. So we're out here having a good time, enjoying the desert, and just kind of getting a little bit of the culture out here. How do you guys like that drop off over there? We are here in San Carlos, Arizona finally. We have arrived uh, after a long drive over a bunch of uh, rocky uh, roads and stuff. We did our devotions this morning. And now we're just chilling in the hub, and we're waiting for church and Sunday school to start. So we're gonna wait and see what we can hop out with. We went to this church service here that they have here, and uh, I gotta say, it was pretty cool. And it's not like anything we do back at our church. It's much more lively, and you have people shouting out "Hallelujah, Amen." It's really exciting, and I think we should do that because you know you got people falling asleep at our church. They definitely wouldn't be able to fall asleep if we got all that loud noise going on. It's great. We went to downtown San Carlos, and we drove for prayer walk, and then we actually stopped in downtown and actually prayer walk. We met a couple of interesting people, and uh, we tried fry bread. It was fun. So we just finished doing some ATL, which is Ask the Lord Prayer, and he gave us different things to go do, like some groups are staying back and helping Susie, um, our host, and then our group is going to go and we're going to meet up with someone that some people met on the prayer walk yesterday. Now what that means, how are you? In our ATL, some people um, saw just images of books. And so we walked further down the street and we found this library and we went in and we asked them what we should do and they told us to source some books, so that's what we are doing. Doing some uh, free clothes for uh, people that need them out here. We've been pretty busy, we've had a lot of people stopping by. Having fleas isn't always bad because you're never lonely. Here we go. An Apache burger. It's really good. I found God. Today we were doing our team building exercises to strengthen our team and get closer. And now we're doing our Bible studies that we're supposed to do. My group has the young parents group. There's a girls group that is going today. We were gonna go originally visit this one guy's house, but along the way we saw someone else called Steve, and he was looking out for his neighbor's kids. Uh, they didn't have any food, so I went with Paul to buy them some food. Yeah, we worked outside all day, and we put up the sign, and it was kind of hot outside. Um, with uh, Larry, I want to say was his name. We just got done with our girls Bible study. Um, today we read the story of Esther and we talked about how we are God's princesses. Um, we had cookies and we made crowns and played games and I gave my testimony. Today we talked to Roydy and we went to his house but he wasn't there so we decided we'd sit in front of his house and wait for him and sure enough he showed up and he played some of his guitar songs and then we prayed with him and we asked him if he'd come to church. He said he didn't know but after that he showed us his nunchuck skills. It's pretty good. He's like, mmm, mm, Apache burger. Mmm, Apache burger. It's a uh, fry bread with patties, cheese, onions. It's like a Whopper with fry bread. We went to the hospital today, James, me, and Lou. Last night, we all went to a service. It was kind of long. You know, it was great. I lost my voice last night, screaming, having fun singing. And then, we all get in a big circle. And I surrendered myself. I had the stuff I wasn't proud of. 
and I surrendered myself to God, and it was great. And then, here goes, four hours later, three in the morning, we're all praying, everyone's surrounding, we're all crying, and it was a great experience. That's when I first learned that you can have like a personal relationship with Jesus. I didn't know where to turn, so I turned back to church, and they accepted me again, and I was really shocked. I stayed here and I played with uh, Otisha and Maurice, Mani and Octavia. Greater things have yet to come and greater things are still to be done in this city. Um, so tonight we're helping out the church that we're staying at. Um, they're having a bunch of people come over for like a barbecue and um, some hamburgers and hot dogs. And these people that are coming um, accepted Christ about a week ago. There was like a hundred people that came and accepted Christ. Um, so we're going to be helping out. Uh, some people are going to share their testimonies. Okay, a lot of things I learned about the Indians is that there are many wrong stereotypes about them. Many people think that Indians would be wearing like the feather hats, like the buckskin clothes, and be living in teepees, except that's really all wrong and not true at all. Also, many people think that the Indians are very unwelcome and unfriendly to the white people, and that's also very untrue. I felt very welcomed and very let into the community by these people. So, um, on this mission trip, we really um, we had a culture shock when we came here because even though um, ma many people don't really know that there are still are reservations in Arizona, it was kind of like coming to a third world country. It's not like that they're going around, you know, with feathers on their head and teepees. Um, they actually have a really high rate of unemployment and that also helps alcoholism and drug use to also elevate. And the thing that surprised me is that the kids that are born here, they kind of repeat the same thing that their parents went through of having children young and struggling with alcohol and drugs. And it's not, and they aren't leaving the reservation, they're staying here. So that surprised me when I came here. And um, the Indians have really become kind of an invisible part of America that we don't really know about. And it was really tough for our group to realize that this is going on in our own country and nothing's really going on to help them. And we've even seen people that, you know, they struggle with um, having like 20 people in houses that are smaller than ours. And also they have problems with, we met someone who couldn't get electricity in his house. And when it's 105 degrees out, when they can't get air conditioning, that's really hard for them. Looks like I found my dream house. We're in the Grand Canyon, totally unexpected, and uh, well, it's just a wonderful thing, and it shows us God's beauty. Welcome to the Grand Canyon. serving the people and bonding and having a lot of fun and we just want to say bye from Arizona.